There we go. Okay, well, thank you for joining us, uh, everybody. My name is Felicity Fallon. I'm Learning and Events Manager with Sphere. And on behalf of Sphere and the Humanitarian Standards Partnership, I would like to welcome you to this virtual briefing session as part of HNPW Week. Um, and it's my great pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. Raju Dapa from DPNet, Disaster Preparedness Network in Nepal, which is an umbrella organization for national and international agencies and UN agencies in Nepal, and also Sphere's focal point in Nepal. And Dr. Raju today is going to share with us his experience of working with Sphere standards since 2004, uh, translating the Sphere Handbook and other companion standards, <clears throat> and conducting a massive program of dissemination of Sphere standards across Nepal, um, going from government to local government to disaster uh, risk reduction trainers, but also the local community um, through theater and music. And so I will hand it over to Raju now to, to tell us more about um, this exceptional program. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Felicity, and hello, everyone. Uh, greeting from Sinemal. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you joining our session today. Uh, in recent time, the COVID-19 pandemic has made us familiar with online technologies and provided us with the means uh, to organize events like this virtually. Actually, this is not a uh, safe time and effort, but also uh, conserve resources, ultimately helping reduce our carbon footprint and contributing to the preservation of our environment for future generation. This can be considered as the positive aspect of the pandemic for this silver lining. With your permission, we'd like to record this session for future reference and uh, it is already recorded. And if everyone is comfortable with this, uh, we'll proceed. Uh, I would like to apologize for any disruption that may occur during uh, our communication today. Unfortunately, my internet connection is not stable at the moment which could affect the quality of our audio and video transmission. So in, in an effort to improve the sound quality and ensure a clear presentation, I'll be turning off my camera to conserve my internet bandwidth. I hope this will not cause any incon inconvenience and I appreciate your understanding and uh, passion while we work through these technical issues. Today, uh, uh, I would like to share with you a success story about uh, Nepal and the Sphere Standard, which play a crucial role in, in our humanitarian effort. Nepal, uh, uh, Nepal, a uh, mm, multi hazard country, is considered the 20th most disaster prone nation worldwide. In terms of earthquake risk, we, we rank 11th and uh, the and for flood risks, we are placed 30th according to 2018 report by Ministry of Home Affairs in Nepal. And our country is located in a highly seismically vulnerable zone. The devastating 2015 earthquake resulted in the loss of nearly 9,000 lives and the destruction of over 19,000 <clears throat> classrooms. If the earthquake had occurred during office hours, the death toll could have been much higher. Just imagine the tragedy is its class had resulted in the casualty of at least 10 students. Our geographic location has a long history. Around 20 million years ago, the Tethys Sea disappeared and the heavy sediments from the ocean floor were pushed up to form the Himalayas, which include the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. This geological history underscored the fact that we live in a place where natural disaster can occur at any time. In light of these challenging conditions, the need of humanitarian standards is paramount. The 2015 Nepal earthquake, the 2017 flood, and the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic have all demonstrated the difficulties faced during rescue and relief assistance. Lesson learned from these events shows that a lack of knowledge on minimum standard can lead to the chaos, conflict, resource mismanagement, and the distribution of non-essential item over essential one. In light of these challenging conditions, the, mm, uh, as a humanitarian activist, we recognize the urgent need for a broader understanding of uh, humanitarian standard. We began a campaign to institutionalize and localize this standard. 
which led the formal establishment of Sphere Nepal in 2011, and Disaster Preparedness Network that was established in 1996, Nepal served as a focal point for Sphere Geneva, and the importance of humanitarian standard was further reinforced by our experiences in various disaster events, leading to an enhanced understanding of needs during disaster and promotion of effective and efficient response measures. Is uh, we all know the sphere standard are vital set of guidelines for humanitarian response, and our goal has been to ensure that these standards are not only understood but also implemented effectively in our respective country. First and foremost, we acknowledge the importance of realizing that sphere standards are not solely intended for donors and international organizations. They are meant for us, the people uh, of our country and our local communities. With the goal of fostering a wider ownership and improved involvement, we established a basket fund that incorporated, incorporated various stakeholders from an array of sectors. So you can see many agencies logo there. Uh, in Nepal, we practice the national platform for DRR, uh, a multi-stakeholder platform uh, that adopts a whole of society approach uh, when addressing disaster risk reduction. The NPDRR is comprised of nine distinct thematic groups, including government, semi-government, UN agencies, bilateral and multilateral, multilateral agencies, INGOs, NGOs, media, academia, the private sector, and affected community. This diverse range of stakeholders enable us to work collaboratively in raising funds and resources for this very standard project. By engaging this stakeholder and creating a sense of collective ownership, we ensured that the Sphere standard would be effectively implemented and embrace all levels of society. This collaborative effort has allowed us to pool resources, share knowledge, and unite diverse groups in pursuit of a common goal to enhance the capacity of Nepal to respond to disaster and promote the well-being of our communities. Through our collaborative effort with the NPDRR, National Platform for DRR, and various stakeholders, we have successfully translated the Sphere standard into Nepali and have adapted them to suit our local context. We have a history of translating all version of the sphere standard into Nepali. For the 2018 edition, we first prepared a draft and circulated it among 3,000 stakeholders. We received a significant amount of feedback and suggestion, which we accommodated through a series of meetings. After nearly a year, we completed the full translation of the sphere standard. We adopted similar, uh, we adopted similar <clears throat> methods to translate other companion standards into Nepali, and we are currently planning to translate the uh, new companion standards, uh, seeds and camp management. Uh, you see, like, you know, this seeds and camp management standards are new standard. Uh, and we have also conducted some, you know, orientation and sensitization program uh, for this, you know, newly uh, introduced standard. And uh, once, uh, uh, like, uh, once we uh, passed the trans, uh, uh, translation were completed, we distributed the book to the major stakeholders, including government of Nepal. And uh, we have also uh, managed to distribute sphere and book to a vast number of stakeholders, ensuring that these essential guidelines are accessible to those who need them most. Our approaches has focused on, on ensuring that the sphere standards are not just a set of guidelines, but rather an integral part of our nation's disaster risk reduction strategy. By working together, we have made a significant stride in raising awareness, building capacity, and promoting uh, the adoption of sphere standards throughout Nepal. As we continue to work on this important initiative, we remain committed to engaging all relevant stakeholders in sharing the effective localization of sphere standard and ultimately enhancing our nation's capacity to respond to humanitarian crisis and support the well-being of our communities. Our collective effort have demonstrated the power of collaboration and the importance of all of society approach in achieving our shared goal for a more resilient and prepared Nepal. However, soon we uh, realized that the presenting, uh, presenting communities with a bulky book didn't make much sense. To engage community and raise awareness about the sphere standard, we turn to local cultural expressions such as drama, folk song, and storytelling. We promoted disaster literature, including poems, essays, and stories to further sensitize communities. 
We piloted use of drama, folk song, and story uh, telling to promote sphere standard, and this initiative quickly gained popularity. As a result, we began producing visual materials for distributing to humanitarian actors and local community. And uh, like uh, this is the you know glimpse of uh, sphere drama, and this is the glimpse of uh, uh, folk song. And uh, uh, I would like to request you to have a look this uh, sphere drama clip. Uh, Felicity, is it audible? Mm. Yes. खालको व्यवस्था गर्नुपर्ने हो 
Okay, that was the uh, cliff of uh, sphere uh, drama that we prepared uh, uh, one and a half years before. But you know, uh, we missed two uh, you know latest standard sheets and uh, sheets and camp management, and uh, we are uh, trying to revise this sphere drama. And in next edition, we'll come up with uh, these latest uh, uh, two component standard. Uh, okay, so after recognizing the needs of well-trained professional in sphere standard, we conducted uh, an international training program on uh, 2018 edition. Uh, this helped us to produce adequate human resources for implementing uh, the standard. Subsequently, we held a series of national, provincial, and uh, local level uh, training. Uh, and uh, various uh, organization participate participated and you know various uh, institution also supported uh, us uh, and uh, this uh, helped to uh, you know enhance the ownership of the participant various participant <clears throat> uh, throughout this process we engage heavily with the government stakeholder emphasizing the importance of sphere standard Eventually, the Ministry of Federal Affairs and General Administration, we say MOFAGA, uh, took the lead role in rolling out a DRR localization training across Nepal. This DRR training manual contains a 10 page long uh, separate session on a sphere standard. It is essential to remember and honor Mr. Suresh, who contributed significantly to this sport despite the COVID pandemic. Sadly, he passed away due to COVID infection during the second wave. Uh, <clears throat> Under the Mofaga's leadership, uh, <clears throat> 2,500 sphere handbook were distributed to all 753 local governments of Nepal. Additionally, over 600 DRR trainers produced and they also received the copies of sphere handbook. As part of this massive uh, initiative, 19,500 newly elected local people representatives were sensitized on sphere standard through a series of 753 DRR training programs held in every local government area in the country. This effort marked a significant milestone in the history of sphere standard localization in Nepal. Sphere standard have now become an integral part of uh, humanitarian uh, intervention with various agencies. In this picture, you can also see UNFP integrating the standard into their activities related to humanitarian assistance and presenting their achievement in last year's national conference on disaster reduction. Uh, <clears throat> You can see the glimpse of DRR localization training uh, that we conducted in all 753 local government of Nepal. <clears throat> and our success uh, in localizing sphere standard has generated international interest and we have shared our experiences at the APMC DRR and Humanitarian Partnership Week in Bangkok. Through these events, we have showcased our cost-effective and innovative approach to localize, localizing sphere standard. Throughout our journey, in localizing sphere standard, uh, we have gained valuable insight and learned important lessons that have shaped our approaches and will inform our future support. One key lesson is the necessity of engagement, both government and non-governmental stakeholders in the process of institutionalizing sphere standard. This collaboration ensures that all relevant actors are included and that the standard become an integral part of the event and response planning and implementation at all levels of governance. Another lesson could be the importance of uh, promoting sphere standard through a whole of society approach. This means involving not only government institution and NGOs, but also communities, media, academia, and the private sectors by engaging all these actors, we can foster a comprehensive understanding of the sphere standard and ensure their 
widespread adoption and implementation. <clears throat> Furthermore, we have learned that progressive human resource development and sensitization program are essential for extending the reach of SPARE standard to more communities. By investing in capacity building and training, we can create a robust network of skilled professional and community leaders who are well equipped to implement SPARE standard in their respective areas. Our experiences also highlighted the importance of including vulnerable groups in the localizing localization of process of sphere standard, ensuring that women, people with disability, senior citizen, and marginal people are involved in decision-making process and implementation for it will make the sphere standard more effective and inclusive. Placing inclusion at the center of our efforts will enable us to address the specific needs of this vulnerable population. We have also discovered the value of using indigenous methods to sensitize the community to the sphere standard, utilizing Culturally relevant approaches such as street drama, folk song, and various forms of literature has proven to be an effective way to engage in communities and enhancing their understanding of the standard. Uh, <clears throat> respected participant, as we continue our report uh, in localizing and implementing sphere standard in Nepal, we have set several objectives for the year 2023. Our focus is to then uh, collaboration, uh, evaluating our progress and extending our uh, breeze to ensure that standards are adapted and implemented effectively across the country. Uh, firstly, we will maintain and strengthen our collaborative relation with government, non-governmental and community stakeholders to ensure the ongoing adaptation and implementation of sphere standard in Nepal. By fostering this partnership, we can work together to address challenges and <clears throat> achieve our shared goal. Secondly, we will evaluate the effectiveness of the massive sphere standard training effort that have been undertaken thus far. By assessing the impact of our extensive training programs, we can identify area for improvement, ensuring the efficient use of resources and refining our approach uh, to better meet uh, the needs of communities. Thirdly, we plan to prepare a sphere uh, standard component uh, we plan to prepare sphere standard champions of the 750 local governments. We will identify and support individuals who can lead and advocate for the sphere standard in their respective local governments, ensure that standards are consistently implemented and promoted across the country. <clears throat> in addition to this effort, we'll work on identifying cost effective and innovative ways to spread knowledge on sphere standards throughout Nepal. By exploring new strategies and technologies, we can facilitate and dissemination of information on the sphere standard to a wider audience in a cost-effective manner, further enhancing the reach and impact of this standard. <clears throat> Finally, uh, we'll work on translating the remaining sphere component standard, uh, like uh, CAM management standard, city standard. This will ensure that all relevant guidelines are available, available in Nepali making them more accessible and useful for local actors. By providing comprehensive resources in local language, we can better equip community to respond effectively to the humanitarian crisis. By building on the lesson learned and pursuing these objectives, we aim to further localize and implement sphere standard in Nepal, ultimately strengthening our nation's capacity to respond effectively to humanitarian crisis and support the well-being of our communities. <clears throat> Together, we can create a more resilient and prepared Nepal that upholds the highest standard in humanitarian assistance. Uh, thank you for your attention and I look forward to working with you all, all, all of you. Thank you so much. <clears throat>